How to test the hydrogen level in your water. We are testing hydrogen water made with H2 Vivit hydrogen tablets. These are magnesium tablets. They contain elemental magnesium, which when dissolved in water, produces dissolved hydrogen gas. The H2 reagent drops that we are using are methylene blue. They are a convenient method that can be used to test the concentration of hydrogen in your water. Drops can be used to test for hydrogen in water from other devices, such as alkaline water ionizers, H2 generators, or H2 sticks. When using the drops, take care of them, as they can stain very easily. The spout on the hydrogen reagent drops is designed to dispense a precise amount of the reagent. When testing, it's important to turn the bottle completely upside down, squeeze it so one drop exits, and then release the pressure. Then repeat that procedure for each drop that's added. When testing the hydrogen level in the water, always start with a clean beaker. You will need to use precisely six milliliters of hydrogen water for testing. We recommend making a mark on the beaker at the six milliliter level with a pen or a marker so that you can more easily see the level at six milliliters. Always rinse the beaker thoroughly before testing in the water that you're going to test. That small popping noise that you might hear when you open a bottle of water you've made with hydrogen tablets is normal. And it indicates there's hydrogen in the water. When testing for hydrogen in water, you will need to move quickly. The hydrogen dissipates. As I add drops, the water turns blue and then goes back to clear. Keep adding drops, counting. This is drop number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. When the water's not turning clear quickly, you can stir it in between 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29 drops and the 29th drop did not turn clear. Always count the last drop that remains blue. So we had 29 drops. Each drop represents 0.1 part per million of hydrogen. 29 times 0.1 equals 2.9 parts per million of hydrogen in the water we tested. As a comparison, we'll now test for the amount of hydrogen in some tap water. We rinse the beaker first, and then we'll take our sample of six milliliters of water. We have a little too much. It's important to be very precise with your measurements. Six milliliters. We'll now start adding the drops. I've 
as you can see, this time with one drop, the water remains blue, meaning there is less than 0.1 parts per million of hydrogen in the tap water. As a summary, remember to always start with a clean beaker that has no residue in it from a previous test. Rinse the beaker first several times in the water that you will be testing. Remember that the spout is specially designed. Now when you add drops, you'll want to turn the bottle completely upside down, squeeze until one drop exits, then release the pressure. Repeat that procedure for each drop that you add. Add the drops as quickly as possible without stopping until the water remains blue. Avoid shaking the beaker. It's better to use something to stir the solution. Be sure to count the last drop that causes the water to remain blue. After completing the measurement, clean the beaker completely so that no residue remains and it's ready for the next time you want it. This concludes our hydrogen test. Enjoy your water.